isang sang. Represent New York's 13th district. It has in it uh, the iconic neighborhoods of Harlem, El Barrio, Washington Heights, and the Bronx. And I am accompanied by uh, my great colleagues from the great state of Texas, Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia, and from uh, California, uh, my great colleague, uh, Congressman Salud Carvajal. And we're here uh, in this exchange visit to learn more about the great country of Morocco and the tradition that it has uh, of many, many years to support uh, the United States of America. We recognize uh, your leadership in the region. We congratulate you for signing on to the Abraham Accords and contributing to peace and tranquility in the Middle East. Uh, but we also want to applaud the measures that you've taken to uh, advance uh, the country and to advance families right? and your investment in uh, not just infrastructure, uh, but in your economy to make sure that all families move together. When we invest in families, we invest in the future. And so your country is strong and we see it as a very strong partner. Uh, we see your country as a leader in the region. And we would like to continue to have that strong partnership with Morocco. And, and certainly um, we see the advancement of women in Morocco, very important. Uh, without, without having women move forward, the country cannot move forward. Women invest, when you give a dollar to a woman, it goes further out. It helps children, it helps education, it helps uh, pocketbook issues. So we must empower women across the world so that countries could move forward. And you, you are doing that. You're beginning to do that, and we want to be a partner with you as we move forward. With that, I, I introduce uh, a great colleague from uh, the great state of Texas, uh, who has uh, also was a manager in the impeachment proceedings. She's very, a very capable attorney, Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia. Thank you, and again, uh, my name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm from Texas in the Houston region, which of course is the energy capital of the world. Uh, and first, I want to thank um, the Moroccan government and the minister and all the parties that came together to invite us uh, to come on this trip. This is the first time any of us have been to Morocco, and we're super impressed, super impressed. Um, for me, the, the first thing that was so striking was that it's so green. It is greener than, than Houston, uh, and that was very refreshing. Uh, we've enjoyed meeting with people. Uh, we were so glad uh, that we were not just here for meetings, 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 that we've actually been able to get out and touch and feel the people of Morocco, and we're finding uh, great hospitality and a lot of warmth. Uh, thirdly, I think it's just important to recognize um, they were here symbolically as members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, which is the Latinos of the United States of America. Our numbers are growing, and it's just very refreshing to us that, that your government has recognized the growing strength and vitality of such a community. 
But now that we're here, we see why. Because they are recognizing the strength and vitality of so many people in your country from different um, uh, nations, from, from different religions. Uh, and we are thoroughly impressed uh, with the investment in people, in human capital. Uh, because we're also all Democrats. And we believe on, in people over politics, invested in people first. So we're finding a lot of, of shared values and shared visions. So we, we um, uh, will continue to work uh, to build on our relationship with Morocco. Uh, and we hope to work together with you as you become the model in this region for an economy that is stable, uh, that is safe, secure, uh, and resilient. So we look forward to continuing a very strong relationship with Morocco. With that, I yield to my colleague from California. Thank you, good afternoon. Morocco is a beautiful country. Uh, it's great, uh, this is the first time, as my two colleagues, being in your country. And it's been great appreciating the people, the culture, um, and its history. I really appreciate the partnership that we, uh, the United States, has had with Morocco, uh, economically, uh, militarily, security, and the ongoing challenge of climate change, and to share with one another what we are all doing to address that very important challenge facing our world in our own individual countries. Uh, in California, we have been leading um, our country and being a global leader in addressing climate change by investing in renewable energy and um, really uh, diversifying our uh, dependence on um, not just fossil fuels, but really moving towards solar, offshore wind. In my district in California, uh, offshore wind in particular is an area that's uh, flourishing and that we're working on aggressively. So again, it's a real privilege to be here with you all to learn about the reforms that Morocco has made that continue to uh, grow uh, your stability, uh, grow um, your resilience and your leadership in the region. And again, uh, just continuing to learn how we could continue to build on the partnerships that we already have, uh, militarily, security, uh, and economically. Thank you very much for inviting us.